Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria! Woohoo! This is probably going to be my last episode of today. I think, finally, this is going to be the last episode. My head's starting to a little bit hurt, but I am continuing on because I want to play this game so badly. Like, every time I keep thinking about quitting, I'm like, no, but I must play on! You know, just that kind of feeling, and you know what? I think I think it's worth it when you do that, when you push yourself to beyond the boundaries. And that's what I'm trying to do right now, is push myself beyond the boundaries so that we can get good footage out there of me getting my butt kicked by a lot of other nations. But actually, last episode, we didn't get our butt kicked, we actually expanded a little bit. Which was awesome to see. Because we now have a little mini vassal we can easily, you know, uh have so yeah if you guys don't remember the reason why I took these guys over is because I didn't want them to start like having rebels spawn in my empire which is the exact reason why I need to go take over Serbia here soon because they're actually gonna cause me more trouble than they're worth and I hate that when that happens so we're gonna start dealing with that and what the okay I don't know how that got disbalanced as a unit um you know what, you know what, make this much easier. Everyone go to Vienna. Everyone go to Vienna, even you. Just everyone go, well actually it's this place right next to Vienna. Boskolova or Slovakia, just go to Slovakia everyone. Every man, woman, child, whatever you know, go to Slovakia so we can sort this, you know, m men out. So then I can start like, sorting everything out. Because right now we have a decent sized military. We're seventh in the world. Not exactly great, but not exactly bad, I should say. Like, we're pretty good. We're, I mean, we're not like the top four people, but we're pretty good other than that. <laughs> and from here, I'm going to figure out how much men we actually need to create a four, a four big army. Like we used to have back in the olden days. Let's go split them out right there. Let's go split them out right there. Okay, that should tell me... So this is about the armies I want to have. And, let's see, we need a lot of work in this army, a good amount of work in this army, a good amount of work in this army too, and a good amount of work in this army. I mean, the main thing that we're kind of losing right now is the fact we don't have cannons. Okay, and that's going to hurt us, I'm not going to deny, that's definitely going to hurt us, especially in this world that we are living in, it's definitely going to hurt us to not have cannons. Um, in terms of this, it seems like there's actually a little tiny rebellion going on with Tunis. Hopefully that will manifest itself into a point where I can actually conquer them. Because that would be really, really nice. And it seems like Sardinia has officially annexed a couple other places. It looks like they are rapidly expanding, actually. It's kind of cool to see. And we have a ton of money now. Wow! Where did we get that much money? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. I, I, sorry, people. That's just that's just really cool to me to see that we actually have enough money. Apparently, also Ch the Qing Empire decided not to go after the rebellious states and just decided to keep them pretty. That's just kind of weird to me. I thought that they were gonna try to do some more conquesty, but apparently not. Whew. All right, so Serbia, guys, it's time for you guys to die. I mean. Now that I got most of my army all dealt with, and I'm pretty sure you guys are out of the sphere of the Russians. The Russians are not are not liking you, right? Oh my goodness. Well, actually, wait. This, that, that's fine. If Russia does join in right now, they're not going to be able to do much. So, yeah, let's get our Causes Belli against them. Oh my goodness, why did I like them so much? Let's get our Causes Belli against them. Yeah, yeah and they're even going to get cut down the size from the... Uh, mighty Prussian so yeah they're not gonna be able to fight me for very long so what we should do is honestly have them destroyed and also what we should also do at the same exact time is start building some clipper ships which I forget to do not clipper ships some man of war ships because I forget to do this a lot and and I need to start remembering or reminding myself Avast to keep virus database advanced has virus data updated. space off because it's an annoying program and it honestly I feel like it doesn't actually do anything, but yeah, that's on a side note. Yeah, it seems like we got two of our other infant, two of our other ports upgrading, which is good. And apparently, we've been accused in Greece. Oh no! Whatever shall we do, Russia? You guys aren't going to be a threat in like a couple weeks, so don't even try that. And let me make sure I'm actually am 
getting that causes bad luck. No, I'm not. I have to first decrease. Oh yeah, to first decrease all my relationships with them. Because for some reason, I like the Serbians right now, which is weird. It's weird for me to say I like the Serbians right now. Mecklenburg is kind of weird, and you guys, Romanians, you guys are already my ally. Good. I'm glad. Naval Land Organization. And it seems like we're doing pretty good on money now. Our money's really starting to bounce back, which is why I really like um, decreased relationships again. And by the way, how's our French relationships? I haven't really been checking on that, but the French aren't exactly thrilled to have me as friends. I guess is the short version of this. Um, but let's see. Yeah, the Russians, the Russians most likely will not be able to fight me. The two, the the way too busy dealing with Prussia right now. The way too busy. I I don't understand how this is happening though right here. Like how is Prussia fighting? Hmm. Will they? Can could they actually win this? Huh. Uh. Take a two prestige loss. I can take a two prestige loss. I don't know. They might. They might just actually be losing this, which is weird. Uh, but hey, as long as they create some strife for themselves and give me enough opportunity to take over these guys, that will be fine. I'm also taking a big risk right now because I am. I might go over my infamy limit if this actually does succeed. And it seems that the conservatists are coming back into power. Good. Good. Thank goodness. I love you, conservatists. You guys are the best. Right now, who the Bach faction is, we're pro-military, we're pro loudism we're interventionism. Army professionalism just went up. And we can get the mobile size. Oh, let's get some military strategically. Because we need to get that. And then from there, what else do we need? We need to probably start upgrading some of our industry. Because it is 1856. And this is supposed to be the biggest expansion we have in terms of size. Over here at war with the Ottoman Empire, so Tunis is right now trying to win their freedom. Ew, that's a perfect time for us. Okay, okay. What we're going to... Okay, so once we figure out how much... Once we figure out how much... Um... Infamy we're going to be taking from the Serbians, from there we're going to decide if we want to go after the, tu the Tunis people right now, or do we want to go after them later? Because if we don't gain that much infamy from them, I think we should just go, we should just go after them now and just be like, boom, 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 dead. Because add to sphere, what? I, I I didn't understand that. Wait, we were gonna add the sphere from someone else. Oh dang it! They declared peace. Okay, well we're just gonna have to wait for another crisis to develop, or we are really gonna have to do a quick. No, 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 no. That's how we failed the first time. I'm not doing that again. Uh, we're not even, not even when they're cut down to half of their strength, are we, are we about the same strength as them? That's how weak we are, people. And I'm actually going to decrease my, uh, tariffing a little bit. So we can bring in more tariffs. And birth rate stable, that's good. And let's see, does that help our economy just a little bit? Should start, should help alleviate our, our people, because we need to make sure we do that. But now that they're at peace again, this is going to be bad. And even when they're at peace, they're like the third biggest military in the world. The biggest is France right now. Who would have guessed? So, let's just finish out with this uh, conquest. Oh, wait, I hadn't even started yet. <laughs> okay, never mind. We actually never started it, so it doesn't even matter. Um, then, I guess, let's see. How fast is the... Huh? Okay, it seems like the Ottoman Empire isn't doing anything with these guys, so... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to establish a protectorate over these guys, and... We're just gonna casually take them up! Because I don't believe the, uh... I'm looking at all the land, and I don't see any of it being occupied by the Ottomans, so... Ottomans are obviously being distracted by something else, I don't know what yet. Uh, Greece, though, on the other hand, how dare they? Or, this means war! Oh, no, I know what this is. Uh, uh dang it. So, everyone, the thoughts of holding question basically means that I can't fight Prussia. It's not. I, I can't do it. I wish I could, but it's just... 
we're not powerful enough to fight Prussia, especially especially since we don't have like a France to join us. If France was at war with them at the same time, then yeah, I would do it, but we as ourselves cannot fight them. Especially since all of our men are kind of just vanishing out of nowhere. Like we like we're slowly starting to build up our possible brigades, but it's slowly happening. Let's get let's get 40%. Let's get 40%. Mission Tunis, what are you talking about? Of course we're not trying to invade the mighty Tunisian people. We're just casually talking to them. In a very aggressive manner. Uh, yeah, let's go get our troops right on the border so that we're really, we're like, literally right there to go in and go conquer them. Because if we gain enough territory quick enough, we'll be able to go in and go conquer them. Okay, we lose influence. I, I don't even care. Just gain me influence, I guess. I don't even care. <laughs> Alright, and there we go. We should have now a bigger militaristic prestige and the North Dramatic Federation formed! Oh my goodness, that's scary. That is seriously scary. Oh my goodness, that is seriously scary. Yep, they formed. They formed. So now we have to be a little bit worried about this and actually now we can do the Austrian-Hungarian Compromise, which for all intents and purposes makes the Hungarians a part of accepted culture. Which I like. Oh, thank goodness. Now we have... Now the Austri now the Hungarians, who are like our second biggest population. Yes, our second biggest population are now accepted cultures. So, that should give us a major boost in a lot of stuff. And let's get down to Cheap Iron again. Because Cheap Iron helps us out a lot. And yes. Oh yeah, now we got a good empire going. Okay. Let's go send you guys over there. Mm-hmm. And conservatives are not winning anymore, dang it. <laughs> I should never jinx them. Never jinx my conservatives. Okay, you guys get right there. Get on the boats. We're gonna have our ships literally right in the harbor, waiting for that Casas Belli to come. Okay, and it seems like Tanis is even conquering back their land, so... Oh, no, wait, they got squished. Okay, it seems like... It seems like you, South German! Okay. It seems like to me they're trying to gain. Wait, do I already have the war? Yes, I do. I already have the war justification. Let's go! Yeah! Okay, 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 okay. Get, get our men, get our troops on. Okay, this plan basically relies on the fact we're gonna basically have to do a migent, a migentic blitzkrieg. Basically, divide up the units, split them up, keep splitting them up until like we own all this land, so that, so that the mighty. Empires do not come after this and we basically saying that this is our land now So no one else will try to do anything to try to mess that up. So we don't want anyone else to come over here Especially the Ottoman Empire who are going to be the most annoying people ever even though they are Practically fractured in the three different empires. I don't even know how they're holding themselves together really But somehow they are so that's a really big question. Um, I also realized that my clock apparently stopped. Man, I've been having, I've been having weird clock issues, so, I'm gonna say I've been going for about five minutes, and in three minutes we'll close down, we'll close down shop, or we'll end today's episode. And, oh my goodness, we're making good, we're making good money, like, we might be able to really, like, start getting this down to really nice levels of infamy. Alright, seems like they're trying to conquest as fast as we are. Uh, Ottomans, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, there we go. Go take over this part. And... Yeah, you guys just quickly siege down this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Seems like they might actually finish before us. Go to down Blintz. And I don't know who this war is going to go to if, if the land is divided into two parts. Who's the war going to actually go to if it's divided into two parts? You guys increase relationships, and Greece, you guys look pretty nice right now. Okay, if you guys come, if you guys are coming here to come help me, that'd be nice. Thank you! Yes, this is still my siege, but thank you, you guys helped me out so much. Okay, and apparently one of my spheres of influence, Cardinal of Spain, is having revolts. Not anywhere near the capital, so I don't really care. Okay, and let's gain the capital. And let's see, can we do some kind of cheek, cheeky thing here and just like have the Tunisians like 
propose peace. They will accept. <laughs> Thank you, Hottimans. You guys helped so much with my war. With my war, I now have land in Africa. Oh, they probably did not want that. But yes, I have land in Africa. We have officially started another part of the uh, col colonialist plan, which is nice. And now that we have land in Africa, it's official. So, yes. Alright, on the same note, let's start making some more cannons. So that we can start getting our armies more balanced. Um, make like one or two soldiers here. I don't think we need to keep that much here. Yeah, just build like three soldiers here. And then over here, go pick up. Let's go pick up these men. And this is how this is how we're gonna generally get to our colonies. And prestige. I think, I think we got sprawling empire again. Uh, Brazil, you guys want an alliance? Sure, why not? Let's become allies with our good friends of Brazil. Okay. And by the way, we should probably start investing some points into Venezuela. Let's see who are we investing points in right now. Greece mostly. Venezuela, a little bit into Portugal, a little bit of Bavaria. All very important. Especially since... Oh... Wait, West Galicia? Russian West Galicia. So, is that my land? No, that's uh, somebody else's land. Well, I'm hopefully not going to join in. Congressional Poland. Well... Uh... Hmm. I'll be on the sidelines. If somebody else wants to join us, I'll join. But, I actually don't want to fight this time. I already went through one crisis that nearly killed me. I don't really need to go through another one. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens! Portugal! Increased relationships with Portugal. Portugal is now happier with me. Add back to Sphere! There we go! And, with that... Um, let's see. With our vassals, we probably should be making sure that they keep up with the latest technology. So, let's just upgrade their... Their places? And since you're technically going to be mine in a few days, let's just make sure you guys are also mine. Because you guys are the mighty, well, the mighty Greeks of old who need to have my help to help you guys out. Doom, boom, boom, boom. There we go. And continue. So the Carnalist Spains are having major problems. Seems like Russia, that crisis did not develop enough. And, ooh, ooh, this Germany right now is looking pretty sketchy. Like, it's looking pretty powerful. The Quindate, the Mandate of Henry, the Manchu. The Manchu are just basically keeping their empire together, which is kind of stinking for me. Because I was hoping by now they would have destroyed it. In terms of workers and factories, I think we're probably going to have to start, like, investing into getting more workers. Because right now, we are not having enough workers in most of our factories. Which really does stink. Especially in Armsbach, in our own capital, we need to really start getting those workers out working and plowing those fields and doing whatever they can to keep our economy going. Alright, uh, Cuba. Cuba. Hey, Cuba. Can I build? I think I'm going to try to build a cigar factory on Cuba. See if I can capitalize on that while I still have a chance. So, let's see. Can I build a cigar factory yet? A cigarette factory? Yes. Build a cigarette factory in Cuba. That's totally, totally going to work. We're not going to have any difficulties, because Cuba, yeah. Let's just reshuffle, reshuffle their cabinet. Let's just gain some militancy. Have all these guys combine. Uh, have you guys move. Okay. And we'll see, what do we have here created? So I know what I'll go send these to, because I need five in each one of these units. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's go see. So we have seven, so we need two to split. All right, and then U15K will go over here. And we can actually build the two Hussiers we need. There we go. Mm-hmm. And right now we're also building um, a decent sized fleet in terms of ships, which is nice. Because we want to make sure we're also a sea power since we are technically a naval power. We want to make sure we're also doing some uh, sea building stuff. You guys get on the ships. You guys travel all the way back to Maine, Hungarian land. And that's it for today's episode, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Boom, boom.